everybody. So today I want to start a new video series called Mom Talk where I am going to be discussing topics that are relevant to me and my family that hopefully you will relate to and can get inspired by or it might just help you work through a problem. Um, so for starters, I want to talk about my first child um, who has special needs. She is 13 and is a delight. This was actually my second pregnancy. My first pregnancy was a miscarriage early on, 11 weeks, no big deal. Quite normal for a lot of people. So this was actually my second pregnancy and pregnancy was fine. There was a time that her heart rate dropped and so the doctor you know, did the precautionary non-stress tests and all of that turned out fine. She was born, you know, 11 days early, nothing major. When she was in the hospital, she stopped breathing for a short period of time. They were able to bring her back and that was it. We went home two days later. So we would take her to her well checks, which I would highly recommend that you stay on top of being a parent and notice the small things or the small things that aren't happening, like being able to roll over or simply your baby sleeps a lot. I know babies sleep a lot in general, but my daughter slept so much to the point that we knew we started feeling that something was wrong and in one of those well check visits with her pediatrician um you know we discussed these things and that's actually when the pediatrician started suggesting maybe looking into some testing when she was about three months she was having a lot of utis and we found out she was having reflux of the kidney, which was making her very, very sick all of the time. Now she was too young to be able to go ahead and do surgery to fix her kidney reflux. And so we had to give her medicine daily, which was really hard because she needed to stay out of the sun. Um, you know, but other things started happening. She wasn't crawling when she was supposed to. She was late sitting up. She couldn't feed herself. She wasn't vocalizing like a normal infant would. And these are all signs that you need to look for as a parent. And these are very important milestones that you need to be aware of. Like I was saying, um, it's important to stay up on your well checks and get a pediatrician that you trust. Um, I hands down would trust my pediatrician with my kids and she was always looking out for them and had their best interest in mind. So my daughter actually started early intervention when she was around nine months. And I actually have a lot <laughs> to cover as far as early intervention goes, so I will save that for a later video. But definitely follow through with the recommendations of your pediatrician. And will it be easy? No. Is it hard to hear that there might be something wrong with your child? Absolutely. But as a parent, it is our duty to do what is best for our kids. And there's nothing that my husband and I wouldn't do for our kids. And it was hard and it still is hard to follow through with some of these testings, but if it gives my daughter a better life, then absolutely.